Hey guys, welcome to my channel Total Angrezi by Vidushi. Do subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to never miss an update and do give me a thumbs up if you like the video. In this video, we are going to do yet another of Robert Frost's poem, Fire and Ice. Uh, it is also a very symbolic poem. The previous poem that we covered also is by Robert Frost. He's a lover of nature. He likes to symbolize things. So this is yet another one of his symbolic poems. And through the lines of this poem, Frost re uh, reflects upon how the world will come to an end. It is a very common question that people have discussed for years that will the world come to an end and if it will, how will it happen? And people continue to do so even today. They have this conversation even today. So he speaks about which element, fire or ice, will end the world and which is better. So let's go into the line explanation. This is the first stanza. Some say that the world will end in fire. Some say in ice. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor ice. So you can see in the representation here, uh, sorry, I hold with those who favor fire. So you can see in the representation here how we've shown the world and fire and ice, both these ele elements attacking from both ends, uh, from, uh, from two sides of the planet. And uh, Robert Frost is, in, through these lines, he's trying to symbolize which of these two elements will be responsible for the end of the world. So here in the first stanza, he confirms that the world will definitely come to an end. Uh, he believes that this is what is going to happen. And people since centuries have been discussing uh, it. And he agrees with those people who say that fire will be the reason for the world to come to an end. So he goes on to say how he has also experienced the feeling of desire. You see the third line from what I have tasted of desire. So he says that even he has tasted uh, what it is to have so many desires. And he, uh, his experience was such that he believes and supports those people who say that fire will destruct the earth. In this manner, it is his attempt to tell, the, uh, tell his fellow humans that we should keep a check on our desires. We should love one another without desiring for too much, uh, without having too much passion for love or lust or any other worldly desires. People should stay away from them because... It is like burning fire. Having too many desires is like burning fire. And humans having so much of desire could lead to the destruction of the earth. So fire symbolizes those endless desires. You can see how he has symbolized the end of the world. Even though he is using elements, natural elements like fire and ice. He doesn't mean actual fire and ice. He is reflecting, he is uh, connecting these to human emotions. And here the human emotion is desire. Excessive desire is like burning fire which could destruct the earth. So in the first stanza, he agrees with those people who say that fire will destruct the world. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate. To say that for destruction, ice is also great and would suffice. The poet goes on to explain that if fire alone was not enough to destroy this materialistic world, then it would require another round of destructions. In that case, the poet agrees that even ice would be enough to destroy the world. Now, in these lines, ice represents hatred caused by cold reasoning. Cold reasoning means that uh, you know we judge people sometimes something happens we judge people we create our own reasoning about why that is happening and sometimes we're emotionless heartless insensitive all of these lead to coldness and hatred is such a negative feeling that it makes a person cold-hearted so those people devoid of love the world is uh, b becoming a very cold place to live in and so that coldness would be enough to end the world the poet has seen a lot of hatred too, just like he has tasted desire uh, due to cold reasons. And the way the feeling is growing amongst people, it would suffice the power needed to end the world, which is what the poet believes. Calculated reasons are enough to make a person very numb and make him very cruel. So if you touch a cold piece of ice, it'll make your fingers numb, right? So too much coldness in the heart will also make you so numb. And a lot of numb people on this planet 
is going to destruct the world so when i when we say destruction over here it doesn't mean like an asteroid hitting the planet with burning fire or with cold ice uh, you know completely uh, uh, breaking or shattering the earth into pieces by end of the world he means end of human kind which could happen because of these two elements perish here in um, in these lines in the first line it means to die and suffice means enough or adequate so he says that if fire is not able to destroy the earth completely in its first attempt the numbness of people the coldness the hatred the reasonings the judgments all of these are enough to end the world the second time so these were the two stanzas so uh, let's again go through a quick summary the summary although is not much over here it's basically like a central idea wherein the poem uh, the poet is uh, talking about how um, there is uh, so much going on in this world and people have been discussing for so many years that the world is going to come to an end even as we speak in 2020 there was another speculation of the world coming to an end we saw it in a movie in 2012 so there are so many speculations about the world coming to an end but here the poet robert frost when he speaks about the world coming to an end uh, like i said in the previous stanza in the explanation of the previous stanza that he does not exactly mean the world coming to an end by physical destruction he means the end of man kind he means the end of humanity uh, the advent of which we are already seeing so in the first stanza he supports those people who say that it is going to be fire that's going to end the world but by fire he means the burning desires that are rising within people every day people are be becoming very very desiring of so many things so many materialistic things so many expectations from people so much selfishness uh, so many things to want so many things to need that it is an endless list people are not happy and they always look forward to the next thing and they keep desiring for what others have all of these things are like burning desires in the heart which means that the heart and the mind is never at peace so therefore he says that this burning desire this burning passion of having everything and the everything that your heart you set your heart and mind on will be enough to destruct the world in the second stanza he goes on to say although that if fire is not enough to destruct the world uh then ice could do it ice could suffice that why because people are becoming cold hearted people are becoming less sensitive they are becoming numb of emotions they are becoming devoid of love and all of these things together put together make a person a very cold hearted person and so so many cold hearted people living together on one planet would lead to the end of the world because it would not be the world that god intended or how it was created and how it was meant to be so this is a quick summary which could also you could also use to answer questions that uh, uh, revolve around the message the central theme or the idea of this poem before we go ahead to discussing the question and answers uh, subscribe to our channel total angrezi if you haven't already do like our video give us a thumbs up if you like our video you can also hit the bell icon so that you get an update every time we up upload a new video you can also find us on instagram and facebook and you can follow us there as well So here are some extra questions. What is the rhyme scheme of this poem? Now in the first stanza the rhyme scheme is A B A A and in the second stanza it is B C B C B. What is the central theme of the poem? We just discussed it. You can use lines from there. Add your own thoughts about it and then go ahead and write. Like I always have said many times before English is not just about knowing the concept of the story or the poem but it is also that you should know how to write you should know how to introspect uh, or retrospect that topic for that matter and be able to write in own correct grammatically correct sentences according to the poet what do fire and ice represent you know that fire represents the burning desires of people and ice represents the coldness caused by reasoning What does the poet say regarding the end of this world? You can again pick out to this answer from the summary from some line explanations. He says that people have been discussing the end of the world since many generations since many years and he confirms and he 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 feels kind of sure and certain that the world will come to an end one, uh, one day and through the through the lines of these poem he tries to contemplate whether it will be fire or ice that will end the world. discuss the poet's idea about the two ways the world will come to an end do you agree with him now the first part of this question where they are asking you to discuss you will find the answers in the line explanations of the first two stanzas stanzas including some ideas uh, from the summary 
do you agree with him that is a very uh, subjective answer you have to uh, answer this based on your understanding of what you think uh, whether it will be fire that will end the world whether you agree that people's uh, desires are increasing which could be enough to destruct the world whether it is hatred cold reasoning all of these things which lead to uh, which which symbolizes ice uh that is going to end the world do you agree do you not agree if you agree why do you agree uh what have you seen around you that makes you agree uh what do you think should be done to end whatever is happening so that the world does not come to an end because of fire and ice these are all the kind of que- answer uh, questions that you can answer in this particular question that's all for today we'll see you in the next video bye bye Do subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon to never miss an update and do give me a thumbs up if you like the video